Hey, what's up, everybody? Gonna do a complimentary quad reaction, man. This complimentary quad is featuring the music of a gent named Lou Reed, and it's his 1992 album entitled Magic and Loss. So, man, with album reactions, I split them up in two, uh, two videos. Sometimes, if it doesn't make it up on YouTube, I'll try and split it up into three, separating the review, and sometimes that works. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, typically it's two videos, man. So I'm gonna pop off side one, hit up work, come back, pop off side two. That's how I do it. Anyways, man, I just wanna give a shout out first and a thanks very much to Joshua Sain. Joshua, thank you, man. Thanks for the recommendation and uh, um, kind of breaking me into something uh, new unfamiliar territory is where it's at where it comes to this platform so uh thanks for introducing me to something new uh let me read jo um joshua's note here man he said uh, hey stb i'd like to hear your thoughts on another favorite album of mine it's lou reed's 1992 album entitled magic and loss it's an album that deals prominently with the death of a loved one as i've dealt recently with the loss of several close to me it's been an album i revisit often it can upon first glance come off as depressing, but I think it's very cathartic. I also think Lou Reed is a master at writing songs. I've loved going through his catalog from his early Velvet Underground days until his solo career. I think you'll appreciate this album in particular. I'll link you the track soon, either tonight or in the next two days. As always, thank you for your time and much love. All right. And then uh, his second follow-up note is... Uh, Hey brother, hope all is well. Here's the links to the album I'd like to recommend. It's Lou Reed again. I think it's one of Lou's most cohesive works. The album just flows nicely and has a theme from end to end for the most part. Probably my favorite, but it's definitely prob yeah, probably my favorite, but it's definitely in my top two or three Lou Reed albums, and that includes his marvelous work with the Velvet Underground. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that band, but they have seriously excellent albums as well. Maybe I'll throw a recommendation of them in some point. Thanks for your time. Right on. Okay, Joshua, thanks, man. Uh, so, let's hit this up. Velvet Underground, huh? Yeah, you know... Hmm. Now, let me uh, bite my tongue for a minute. I'm not sure, Joshua. I don't, I don't know if I've done a reaction where Velvet Underground is in the mix yet. I think that's new territory. All right, man. Let's hit this up. This is side one, Magic and Lost, Lou Reed. Let's get it. I wasn't expecting such heavy guitars. Life's like sand 
get red to a pony I see you in my mind's eye Strangling on your tongue What good is knowing such devotion I've been around I know what makes things run What good is seeing our chocolate What good's a computerized note And what good is cancer in April Why no good No good at all He's got a really good voice signature, great for telling stories, stories and song. What good's a war without killing? What good is rain that falls up? What good's a disease that won't hurt you? Why no good, I guess, no good at all. What good are these thoughts that I'm thinking? It must be better, huh? Not to be thinking at all A styrofoam lover with emotions of concrete No, not much Not much at all What good is life without living? What good's this lion that barks? You love the life, others throw away nightly It's not fair Not fair at all What's good? Oh baby, what's good? What's good? What's good? Not much at all. Huh. Hey baby, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Not much at all. What's good? What's good? What's good? Life's good. Life's good. Life's good. What's good? Life's good, but not fair at all. Hmm. That sums it up pretty much, man. Visited by the power and the glory I was visited by a majestic hymn Great bolts of lightning lighting up the sky Electricity flowing through my veins I was captured by a larger moment I was seized by divinity's hot breath Gorged like a lion on experience Powerful from life. I want all of it, all of it, all of, all of it. it. Not just some of it, all of it, all of it. All of it. I saw a man turn into a bird. I saw a bird turn into a tiger. I saw a man hang from a cliff by the tips of his toes The jungles of the Amazon I saw a man put a red hot needle through his eye Turn into a crow and fly through the trees Swallow hot coals and breathe out flames are intruding vocals. It just wakes you up, doesn't it? We saw the moon vanish into his pocket. We saw the stars disappear from sight. We saw him walk across water into the sun while bathed in eternal light. We spewed out questions waiting for answers. Creating legends, religions, and myths. Books, stories, Movies and plays, all trying to explain this. Who's 
this singing. That's some of it. So a great man turned into a little child. The cancer reduced him to dust. His voice growing weak as he fought for his life. With a bravery few men know. I saw isotopes introduced into his lungs Trying to stop the cancerous spread And it made me think Of Lita and the swan And gold being made from lead The same power that burned Hiroshima Causing three-legged babies and death Shrunk to the size of a nickel Help him regain his breath And I was struck by the power and the glory I was visited by a majestic hymn Great bolts of lightning lighting up the sky As the radiation flew through him tune a few more times. I like his singing, storytelling style. Shades of, uh, is it Mark Knopfler? From, uh, Dire Straits. Magician, magician. Sorry, so sorry. I have no incantations, only words to help sweep me away. I want some magic to sweep me away. I want some magic to sweep me away. I want to count to five Turn around and find myself gone Fly me through the storm And wake up in the calm That's how he wants to deal with the pain of loss Release me from this body From this bulk moves beside me let me leave this body far away I'm sick of looking at me I hate this painful body that disease has slowly worn away Magician Take my spirit Inside I'm young and vital Inside I'm alive Please take me away So many things to do It's too early For my life to be ending For this body To simply rot away I want some magic To keep me alive I want a miracle I don't want to die I'm afraid that if I go to sleep, I'll never wake, I'll no longer exist. 
I'll close my eyes and disappear and float into the mist. Somebody, please hear me. My hand can't hold a cup of coffee. My fingers are weak. Things just fall away. Inside, I'm young and pretty. Too many things un. Finished. My very breath taken away. Doctor, you're no magician, and I am no believer. I need more than faith. I want to believe in miracles, not just belief in numbers. I need some magic to take me away. I want some magic to sweep me away. I want some magic to sweep me away. Visit. Starlit night, replace the stars, the moon, the light, the sun's gone. Fly me through the storm and wake up in the calm. I fly right through the storm and I wake. Damocles is right above your head. They're trying a new treatment to get you out of bed. But radiation kills both bad and good. It cannot differentiate. So to cure you, they must kill you. The sword of Damocles hangs above your head. Lots of people die from car crashes or drugs. Last night on 33rd Street, I saw a kid get hit by a bus. But this drawn-out torture over which part of you lives is very hard to take. To cure you, they must kill you. The sword of Damocles above your head.
That mix of morphine and dexedrine, we use it on the street. It kills the pain and keeps you up, your very soul to keep. But this guessing game has its own rules, the good don't always win. And might makes right, the saw to Damocles is hanging above your head. It seems everything's done that must be done from over here, though things don't seem fair. But there are things that we can't know, maybe there's something over there. Some other world that we don't know about, I know you hate that mystic shit. It's just another way of seeing the sword of Damocles above your head. I just realized I'm having these talks to his wife in the hospital bed, you know, sitting by her side and having all of these thoughts. Probably even when she's asleep, you know, he's thinking these things. That's what I'm visualizing. Sitting on a hard chair Try to sit straight Sitting on a hard chair this moment won't wait He's praying Listening to the speakers They're talking about you Look at all the people All the people you do Sitting with my back straight It becomes hard to hear Some people are crying It becomes hard to hear I don't think you'd have liked it You would have made a joke You would have made it easier You'd say, tomorrow I'm smoke It's your daughter saying thank you You, you would have made a joke Isn't there something you'd say Tomorrow I'm smoke It's very relatable, isn't it?
Sitting on a hard chair, it's over time to stand. Some people are crying. I turn to grab your hand. It's your daughter saying thank you. You, you have made a joke. Isn't this something you say? Well, the cold black sea waits for me, me, me. The cold black sea waits forever. The waves hit the shore, crying more, more, more. But the cold black sea waits forever. Tornadoes come up the coast; they run. Hurricanes rip the sky forever. Though the weather's changed, the sea remains the same. The cold black sea waits forever. There are ashes spilled through collective guilt. People rest at sea forever. Since they burnt you up. Collect you in a cup. For you, the cold black sea has no terror. Will your ashes float like some foreign boat, or will they sink absorbed forever? Will the Atlantic coast have its final boast? Nothing else contained you ever. Now the cold black sea waits for me, me, me. The cold black sea waits forever. When I leave this joint at some further point, the same cold black sea will it be waiting? Got some visuals going on there. Well, if I close my eyes, I see your face. I'm not without you. If I try hard and concentrate. I can still hear you speak. I picture myself in your room by the chair, you're smoking a cigarette. If I close my eyes, I can see your face. You're saying I missed you. my eyes I can smell your perfume 
You look and say hi, big. If I close my eyes, pictures from China still hang from the wall. I hear the dog bark. I turn and say, What were you saying? I picture you in the red chair inside the pale room, dreaming. I'm always dreaming. You sat in your chair with a tube in your arm. You were so skinny. Still making jokes. I don't know what drugs I had you on. You said, "I guess this is not the time for long-term investments." You were always laughing, but you never laughed at me. Say in the end the pain was so bad that you were screaming. Now you were no saint, but you deserved better than that. From the corner I watched them removing things from your apartment. I can picture your red chair and pale room inside my head. If I close my eyes, I see your face, and I'm not without you. If I try hard and concentrate, I can hear your voice saying, "Who better than you?" I close my eyes. I can't believe that I'm here without you. Inside your pale room, your empty red chair, and my head. So that is side one of Magic and Lost Lou Reed. Damn. Yeah, Joshua, I can see why uh, you would revisit this uh, time and again, uh, and, and especially um, you know you mentioned that you had lost a few people in your life. So I can totally understand why you would revisit this. And uh, this guy Lou Reed has a great, great. Um, capacity to paint visuals in your mind, paint pictures in your head, and just make you think about things. You know, I was just off somewhere. Let me tell you, in the clouds there, man. And uh, I really, especially like his um, his voice signature. How he can tell a story in song. You know, I mentioned Mark Knopfler. He has shades of that to me. A little bit of that, a little bit of Bob Dylan, and uh, maybe something else. But yeah, man, he's um, his vocals are excellent, crisp, 
clear, don't have to strain to understand, very expressive, and really, really um, uh, achieves what I think he intends, and that is getting you to think about different things, getting you to kind of go on a little bit of a trip, a little bit of a journey. Yeah, and the picture of this person being his wife that he's lost, you know, and uh, describing many aspects of her, her character, how he makes, how she made him feel what she meant to him, all of these things comes through very, very well in this string of songs. The theme is excellent, you know, I mean, it takes an entire album going through into a theme. It's not a concept album of sorts, but it's got, um, it seems like it's got the, uh, the common theme running through it. Really, really good so far, man. Very good. So, let's do this, man. Uh, this is the end of side one. I'm going to bounce to work, uh, come back. I think I'll be back early enough to uh, pop off side two. Um, maybe get it uploaded tonight uh, before the rest of the day. Uh, if not, then it'll be first thing in the morning. But yeah, looking forward to checking out side two and what that has to offer. Certainly taking you on a trip, man. Anyways, have a good one. Have a good day. I'll see you in side two. Peace.